In this video, we are going to talk about development of oocyte inside the ovary as follicular cells. I am drawing the female reproductive system zooming into the ovary. On the ovary wall, the germinal epithelial cells develops into oogonium cells by mitotic cell division. It occurs before the birth of the female. After the birth and in the puberty, the Oogonium develops into oocyte, that is primary oocyte, which gets surrounded by follicular cells in the ovary. At first, it gets surrounded by a single layer of follicular cells. This single layered follicular cells is called primordial follicle. Now, more layers of follicular cell develop surrounding the oocyte. And... These developing follicles are called growing follicles all together. Now, the follicular cells forms a an antrum or a cavity in between the cells and with this antrum, the follicle is called antrum follicle. Then it, the antrum follicle develops into the most matured follicle that is graphian follicle. <coughs> The graphian follicle after maturation raptures and releases the ovum into the fallopian tube. Then this follicle is called the raptured follicle. After rapturing, the follicular cells without the oocyte forms corpus luteum and this corpus luteum eventually degrades and forms corpus albicans. Now let us look into the follicles in detail. At first the primordial follicle. In primordial follicle the primary oocyte is at the center and the follicular cells surround the oocyte with a single layer. Next the Growing follicle. In growing follicle, the oocyte remains at the center and the follicular cells surround the oocyte with more than one layer. And the first layer of follicular cell is called corona radiata and the zone between the oocyte and corona radiata is zona pellucida. Next, the antrum follicle. <coughs> In antrum follicle, the follicular cells surrounding the oocyte forms a cavity in between the follicular cells. This antrum or cavity is filled with some fluid. And th with this antrum, the follicle is called antrum follicle. The next Developed follicle is called graphian follicle, which is the most developed follicle. In this follicle, the oocyte remains at the center, follicular cells surrounding the oocyte, and antrum increases with more liquid in it, and it has blood capillaries surrounding the follicles. Most external layer where the capillaries are present is called thicker externa, the antrum, the liquid filled cavity that is liquid follicle and the cells with the oocyte are called cumulus oophorus. Now let us zoom into Gaffian follicle to see in detail. This is the oocyte present at the center. Now, the first layer of follicular cells surrounding the oocyte, this layer is called corona radiata as it radiates towards the oocyte. Now, other follicular cells are, are also present surrounding the first follicular cell layer. But the zona pellucida is the zone between the oocyte and the corona radiata that is the first layer of follicular cells. 
Now, the cells with which the oocyte reaches the fallopian tube are called cumulus oophorus. These cells remain with the oocyte in the fallopian tube. Next, the more follicular cells making the antrum or the cavity of the graphene follicle. The cavity is filled with liquid and it is called liquid follicle.